Hey guys, I'm Scott from Aristocop.com. And I'm Seth from MarkwoodAdventures.com. And together we welcome you to Markwood Men's Breakfast Club Tobacco Advent. And it is Saturday, December 7th. 7th, man. That's right. Time has flown. It has. But, by the way, yeah. could you please explain that shirt? Uh, it says, The Red House, High Point, North Carolina, where black people, white people, and all, all people. people buy furniture. Wouldn't everybody be included in You would all? think so, but <laughs> not, not, so much. not the black people or the white people. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Google Red House, um, or YouTube Red House. Uh, we have talked before in the past, I'm sure, about um, Rhett and Link. They have a YouTube channel, pretty popular, and they directed a commercial for a business when they were still living in North Carolina um, that sells furniture. And right here in town. Yeah, High Point. Um, they got a lot of heat for it because people called them out for being racist. But they went into the, the furniture place and said, what is important to you? And what's unique. About That's right. And the guy said, well, we have a very diverse staff and we have very diverse customers and we like that. We like that we have white people, black people, um, Hispanic people all working together and all shopping together and that's something that's special to us. And so they made a commercial with that as the premise. And they took a lot of heat, were on a lot of shows and their point was, look, it's not racist to point out that there is racial diversity. It's racial, we pointed out what's there, but racism is something totally different. Um, the song commercial is so catchy and funny. Check it out. Yeah, I agree. It's People a... always ask me if this is me. <laughs> it is not me. Uh, this is Ten Gauge. Uh, you'll know when you when you AKA when you Ten Gauge. AKA, that's right. And that's Big Head. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Go watch and, the video. It's worth we it. actually shot a video a long time ago for uh, they were have, looking for the official Rhett and Link handshake, right. which eventually became. Do you remember? The sign language for Rhett and the sign language for uh, for or R and L. You make an L, and then the L grabs the R and you shake. That was not our submission. Our submission <laughs> was easier. It went something like this, which I thought would have been yeah. catchier, but uh, it was not selected. No, Although it was but featured on their website, right? We did. We did go to the Red House and. Um, got this shirt here, and they're there, and met uh, Big Head. Big Head. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, Saturday, um, I'm ready to pick another cornament off the right. Advent, uh, Tobacco Advent Day tree. Day number seven. So, here we go. Uh, things are getting precarious up here. Well, that's because you thought that you're close enough you didn't have to stand up. There is that. All right, so here's the cornament that is going to. Da, 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 da. This is limited edition tobacco advent cornaments. You can't get these anyplace else. No. All right, here we go. What is it, boy? This is Kevin Poe. It's a familiar name. That is a familiar name. Uh, who sent us Coach House earlier? Um, we still don't know what that was, and. Uh, Hearth and Home Ambassadors Blend. Okay. So what this is. The description on the tins. Opposite of Coach House, this one has a very long description. Now, the thing about <laughs> the thing about Hearth and Home's tobacco, and I have a tin or two of it mm. here in the shop, um, they've got big tins. They kind of remind me of uh, almost the old-fashioned court, uh, court oil cans, which you probably mm. don't remember at all. Oh. Um, imagine a... Um, Oh, Pringles potato chip can, but much larger. Imagine a Hearth and Home tin. You oh, yeah, I'll do that. that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hearth and Home, we also had the Magnum Opus, right? Well, we had a sample uh, of it, but we didn't have the tin. Right. Anyway, they have big descriptions, so here, here we go. This blend was created as a result of a number of requests from some for something in the same vein as some of the richer Dunhill tobaccos. London mixture, standard mixture, full and medium. Seasoned English blend smokes are familiar with the warm and rich flavor 
of those mixtures and although we don't try to duplicate any of their tobaccos <laughs> although uh, we have worked to recreate the spirit and flavor profile of these currently absent old friends we're not going to copy their tobacco but we are going to come up with what's that Burger King hamburger that was that had two beef patties and a unique sauce uh, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a McDonald's second McDonald's did the same thing. <laughs> they made a Whopper and called it a McCappy or something. Oh, did it? <laughs> uh, more recently, Burger King ripped off the McRib. Oh, Didn't that's they? right. They had a, they had, and actually, it was pretty good. Rib sandwich. For, for a homogenized pork product. Oh. Have you ever seen those things frozen? It's like spam. What they look like as patties? It's, it's spam. Yeah. It's gross. But it's so yummy. Anyway, back to Ambassador's Blend from Spam. Uh, members of our sampling group made comments like, quote, I think you nailed it, and I haven't tasted anything like this in years. They clearly haven't had the magnum opus. That's true. Find out what they're talking about with our newest Ambassadors Blend. All right. Now, now one of the first things that I, I noticed about the tobacco before even lighting it is the texture. It's, it's um, is it another ribbon cut? No, that is no, not. It's not. <laughs> but, <laughs> which... Last time got me in trouble, Kevin. Um, it is another. Uh, you know, it's it reminds really, me, It reminds me of the ready rubbed tobaccos. It's it's a pretty pretty coarse. Yeah. If it was a ribbon, it's not anymore. <laughs> this uh, using the small bag was really a mistake. I'm willing to admit that now. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> to get a bag that has a larger opening, all right? Mm-hmm. That definitely... Woo! That definitely is in the spirit of an English blend. <laughs> and that was the last one, but this is definitely... Yeah? Huh? No, that's what, it's, it's what it says. Mm. Yeah, that is. Wow. They, they, they didn't try to duplicate an English <laughs> blend. They just... The spiritual successor of, okay. like the adoptive stepchild. I'm digging that. Hmm. Yeah, that's like McDonald's version of a Chick Fil A <laughs> number one. <laughs> What do they call that? Their country chicken sandwich? I have no idea. It was uh, basically their uh, McChicken with uh, a pickle. <laughs> That's sad. That is... Uh, That's pretty close to... Um, That's pretty close to uh, the type of flavor... I would expect from a cigar that I would, I would mm. pick. Um, that's that's got that nice he heavy kind of it were a cigar Maduro mm. flavor. Um, I like that. That one's that one's good. That is what you would call a full body, right? It's also one that that I could see. It, so because I don't smoke terribly frequently, I have to be careful when I'm picking cigars to allow myself time to take. Take it easy because the heavier cigars tend to get me lightheaded faster, um, and so I think that you know I would have to also be cautious with this. But I like that. Me too. Hmm. Again, me still with the cold, mm -hmm. heavier tobacco. Uh, I can taste it, so that's good. Although I have to say, you know, we get. I get people ask all the time about, you know, do you use a filter? I usually don't filter my tobacco, but if I have a tobacco that's just, you know, a little bit too strong for me, um, I'll put a filter in my pipe, hmm. and that changes it up quite a bit. One of the reasons why folks don't like filters is it mutes the flavor, but that may be exactly what you need from some, yeah. some strong tobaccos. Sure, that makes sense. I am not using a filter, mm -mm. and don't usually. Well, the, this pipe cannot accept a filter. Really? No, sir. This is the um, well. This is the official cornament pipe. This is the Morgan uh, nose warmer. I'm smoking a naked one. Boys smoking a uh, a polished one. 
I don't have a filter in this one either. That does not accept a filter. Well, no, actually, I'm it, pretty it, sure. It, well, with this, with that particular stem, it doesn't. That's the um, that's the original freehand vulcanized rubber. You can take a standard filter now; it'll fit that. But you have to cut it roughly mm -hmm. in half, and then I don't know how the heck you get it out of there—a wood screw or something—when you're done. Um, you don't. You buy a new pipe. But if you visit riskcop.com. <laughs> If you're smoking that with a with a, a Danish bit in it, you can use the standard filters in them. <laughs> All right, this one's working for yeah, me. Yeah, I like that. Hearth and Home That's Ambassadors, 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 Ambassadors blend. blend. That's All right. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Kevin. Have, have a great Saturday, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for a continuation of the Countdown to Christmas Tobacco Advent. Uh, again, Boy likes to mention all the places on the, uh, the interwebs that you can hashtag us. How about today you just share a link to this on Facebook? Yeah. Right? Most of you are on Facebook. Um, share a link that'll embed the video and that'll, uh, that'll share it out to all your friends and loved ones. Also, feel free to friend me on the Facebooks as well. My life's on open Facebook. so. Not so much. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Make it a great day.